Oh god, imagine imagine not turning off the background image there. Right, cool. Uh, okay, 10 you say? Well, my um YouTube live stats say 7. Um which is to be fair YouTube is probably wrong. They they usually they usually are. Uh especially when it comes to uh setting reminders um for for timings and uh, and and things like that. Oh, that's interesting. I know. It's all right. Uh, right. Cool. Cool. Um, everyone should watch on multiple devices, so it looks like there's more people. Uh, if you're watching from the same account, does that count as concurrent views? There's a there's an experiment, isn't there? Anyway, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, okay. So um, I figured because some of you um, are maybe less interested in watching me play other people's games, um, uh, I figured I would uh, run through the uh, the basics of uh, checkio.org to start off with um, and then if you're happy with that and you want to tune out and go and practice and work your way up the leaderboards there you you can and what I will do is I will go through demonstrate these uh, games that have been submitted to me in no particular order um, and maybe uh, have a look at some of the code that's in there um, some of you might have deviated from my code examples so I can I can give you some pointers and uh, and whatnot there that's that's basically the plan I doubt if it'll take the full hour um, but it's it's Friday before half term I guess um, so you know um, oh, there's a pigeon in my garden um, cool right so checkio.org. Um, I uh, I sent you all a um, uh, a link to join my checkio.org classroom. Um, here is my um, classroom manager. You can see this is the view that I get. Um, I've got one for my six formers, and I've got one uh, for you guys. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to click on that because that will show all of the, uh, the the people that are in there. But basically, I can see two two people here have um, uh, clicked that link, and I have not yet approved them. So I apologise. I will approve um, as soon as um, uh, as soon as I can. And uh, then yeah. So, but this is this is basically what it looks like. Um, you have uh, this map, and there's lots of different islands uh, available on the map. Um, and uh, to start off with, most of them are locked, uh, but as you gain points, you can unlock the island. And, and each of the different islands has a different sort of area of focus. Uh, so to start off with, home is sort of like your basic um, introductory problems. Elementary, for those of you that uh, might be having trouble with the stuff that's on home, elementary, I believe, is like the super easy stuff, like tutorial level stuff. Um, so you can you can click on there to get slightly easier uh, puzzles. But you can see here, elementary only links to home. And then home has these links down here. We've got the electronic station, um, and uh, it also links up to O'Reilly Island up there. So the idea is that as you complete some of these challenges, you uh, you unlock different parts of the um, of of the of the map. So if I click on the uh, the home island here. You can see uh, here's a couple that I've already solved, uh, and there's a whole bunch down here that uh, I haven't I haven't attempted. Um, let's click this first one. Some numbers. Um, when you click on it, it gives you a little bit of information about what it is that you are trying to do. In a given now, one thing that I will say um, 
the English translation of the site is not the most amazing of English translations that I've ever um, I've ever seen, but you should be able to understand what it is that they're that they're looking for. Okay, in a given text, you need to sum the numbers. To sum the numbers means to add them all up. Only separated numbers should be counted. Um, if a number is part of a word, it shouldn't be counted. Uh, yeah, so it's called check. I uh, go, uh, like it. Nice one. Um, uh, the text consists from numbers, spaces, and um, English letters. Uh, so it, it also gives you an example of what your output should be from any given input. So the name of the function here is some numbers, right? And this is the information that they're passing to it. So when you call some numbers with the information high, the total should be zero because there's no numbers in there. OK, um, when you pass who is first here, that number there, the one, although it is a number, technically it doesn't count because they've set up here. Um, if a number is part of a word, it shouldn't be counted. Right. Um, then here, my numbers is two. Yes, that uh, I'm sure you uh, try and use that phrase today at some point. Try and get it into a conversation. Um, Try and try and manipulate events so that you can get the phrase "my numbers is two uh, into a conversation without people um, without people like second guessing you. Um, one of the things that I used to do uh, in meetings um, uh, when I was at Codemasters was try and sneak um, Limp Biscuit lyrics into conference calls. Uh, without people noticing, so there's there's, a, no, there's another fun game for you, um, and you can see here that the picture is an oil on canvas painting by Danish artist blah 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 blah. But you see there's two numbers, 1845 and 1910. Add those two together, and you get 3,755. So that gives you an idea of how this should go. Now, when you click on solve it, this is the bit that often confuses a lot of people. You get this stuff here. Right, you get a whole bunch of uh, of code, and people look at that and think, "I don't know what that is." Right, you don't need to worry about any of this stuff down here. Right, almost all of this code exists so that the system can check the code that you are writing. Right now, remember the name of the function in this example was some numbers. And they've created this function for you. And there's a little comment here, your code here. The only code that you need to write is the body of the sum numbers, right? If I click on um, run now, it's always that my sum numbers, it's always going to kick out zero. I click on run and it tells you, oh, there's an error there, right? All of this, all of this stuff is there. I mean, it's... Tommy's just said it didn't do any harm deleting it all of it. No, because what what the system does is it pulls in your function and it runs it from with some other code which is on the back end, right? When I say um, this code exists sort of integrate into the system, it's so that when you click on run, when it runs this code here, right? And um, these assert um, commands. What assert does is it will exit the program if this condition is not true. So uh, this is this is what's called a unit test, right? You run this code here. It executes your function there. You can see that that's what's going on here. Um, uh, it executes your function here and it tests it against all of this stuff. All of this stuff is just here so that you can test what you've got and they've plugged in some examples so you've got an idea of the sorts of tests that are going to be run when you click on check. What actually happens when you click on check is there'll be tons more of these tests checking the ins and outs of your program. OK, so, yeah, you can get rid of all of that stuff. It doesn't matter. You can create your own functions as well. It doesn't matter. The point is that when the when you check your program, it's just going to run the function that they have specified there. OK, so you can have all manner of extra stuff um, in your code if necessary. But ultimately, it's whatever is returned from this function that's that's being checked. OK, so you can see as well, I mean, I just, when I click run, it checks all of these things without 
checking it against the server, right? Well, if I click on check, it will send it off to the server. That's why it takes longer. And it tells you, okay, this is the result that you got. This is the result that we should have got. Um, and so that's a failure. But obviously, if we edit our code here, so what does it need to do? It needs to return the uh, sum of the separate numbers in the list. So return sum... Uh, int x for x in uh, text dot split if x dot is numeric should do it. Um, if I now run that, it will check my code here against the um, uh, the examples there. I click on run. Okay, cool. We haven't we haven't had any issues. If it gets to this bit here, chances are it'll work. Now, just because it works for all of this stuff, it's not guaranteed to work against all of the tests that they're uh, that they're sending on the other end. Um, but you can always check it. So let's click on check. Nothing to lose. Boom, 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 and boom. So, uh, if you want to flex, you can publish your solution. Just click on publish my solution. Um, and uh, let's call it a one line example. Nope, that didn't work. One line example. Uh, okay, and then when you click on publish, um, the category is not provided. Um, sp speedy and algorithmic, it should be fast. I don't know. What category is this? Okay, yeah, let's do it. let's do that. It's speedy and algorithmic, whatever. Um, so what you can do is you can um, you can do a direct response. You can do a um, you can make your code um, difficult to read specifically. Other people can then see the code uh, and they can comment on it. The other thing as well that you uh, that you could do is view other people's code here. Like uh, this guy used some numbers equals lambda text sum int i for i in text dot split uh, if i dot is digit. It's, I mean that's fairly similar to what I did. I like my solution better, but um, you know lambda functions. Oh god. But anyway, so that that gives you an idea of um, what you're what you're supposed to be doing here. So I mean just to prove that it it's still. I mean if I get rid of all of that stuff. Um, I can't even remember what the what the thing was now. Um, int, sorry, sum uh, int x uh, for x in uh, text. Now, obviously, the this text that's my uh, parameter which is being passed to the function here. It tells you what type of data it is here. So text, we're expecting a string. Okay, and this bit here, that tells you what type of data your function should return. So it should return an integer. Okay, so it's it's fairly straightforward. You start off with some uh, some pretty basic ones. Like I said, if the uh, if the home um, stuff is going over your head, uh, don't be uh, afraid of going into the uh, to the elementary uh, section here and um, click in multiply intro. Um, the the cool thing about the elementary stuff is that it goes through a whole bunch of stuff explaining um, the ins and outs of how this is uh, supposed to work. You're getting me cutting out. Interesting. Um, I'm not. I'm not. Into, I might. I wonder if it's something to do with this. we go and then it's back on again is it like that I don't know I've got this box where it's got a push to mute button on it which I think I've been accidentally hitting with my 
shoulder, not shoulder. What's that? What's that part called? Um, elbow. Um, yeah. Okay. I, it might be that. I've moved that out of the way. Okay. Hopefully, though, all of that uh, is making sense. Um, so it, the TLDR um, version is um, go to uh, Check IO. Uh, you should be able to log in with your uh, with your Google account. Um, I I put the link in Discord. I will um, I'll sticky the link up as well. Um, Feel free to move to the elementary uh, thing and have a go at that. Um, and um, don't be afraid to uh, drop questions on the um, on the Discord as well. If you get stuck, and I will be periodically uh, reviewing that. I mean, it's it's a good idea to um, aim to work on a couple of challenges a day. I would I would say. I mean, at, at least at the start. When they start getting more difficult, you might have to do a little bit more thinking. Um, but it's all going to be—it's all going to be good practice for you. Okay. Uh, any questions on Check IO before I move on to actually playing some of these adventure games? <laughs> oh God! No one's saying anything now. No. <laughs> cool. Um, by the way, there is a way that you can integrate um, your PyCharm with um, uh, with Check.io. You will need to um, get a, uh, a plugin. There's plugins for Firefox and there's plugins for Chrome. Uh, it's pretty straightforward to do, and there's some instructions on the um, on the website itself. Basically, you just have to run a couple of commands. I will post the commands in Discord, so you can just run them on your machine. Um, but you will have to get the um, uh, the plugin, um, and then it's just a case of when you go to the uh, to the page, instead of typing into the web page, um, it should automatically sync the code on your PyCharm. You can run it in PyCharm. Um, and then you can you can sync it sync it back. I mean, it's not necessary, um, but if you're used to coding in PyCharm rather than in a website, then then yeah. Um, I'm not going to go. There's there is no scope in this stream for me to go over lambda functions. Um, but uh, the short of it is a lambda function is a uh, an inline function definition. So you can define a function on a single line and use it on that single line. They can be very useful for writing uh, funky one line programs. Um, I send you a horrible horrible example that I wrote, uh, which was um, the GCSE coursework from. Uh, a number of years back condensed down onto a single line of code. It's horrible, but I'll send it to you. Okay, so um, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. oh, Black Mesa, yeah. Um, rock and roll. Uh, I saw a review of a terrible looking Black Mesa uh, fan game uh, called Hunting Hunting the Freeman or something. Oh, God, it looked awful. Um, I'll, I'll, send the, I'll send the video. Anyway, La 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 la. Let's get rid of that, um, and let's do some let's do some games, shall we? Um, is this the one that I want to do? I do not think it is the one. Do, do, do. Nope. Uh, right. Give us a second. I just need to change this. Uh, that should do it. Boom. Right. Okay. Cool. Hunt, hunt down the Freeman is a masterpiece. Um, well, I mean, based on the review that I saw, uh, you needed to turn on no clip just to get like through a uh, a level because they'd put invisible walls in there. So, masterpiece. Hmm. Hmm. Um, also, didn't didn't have the voice of. Keemstar as the president. No, it's not. It's not right. Um, 
Right, right. So, um, let's let's just get down to it. So the the plan is, I will play these games. Um, I'll see how they work, and then I'll have a quick look through the code and see um, see what the what the what the deal is here. So um, let's let's do this. Um, Control Shift F10. Oh, look at that! We've, first of all, we've got some coloured text. Uh, I'm not going to say whose games these are. I'm just going to play them, and we'll we'll see what happens. Now, obviously, we've got um, white background, but um, I, my um, my theme is set to dark, so I think it looks cool. Um, if I was running this in a separate window, I imagine the entirety of it would be uh, would be white. So uh, here we go. Do you want me to do dramatic readings of this? Inside the hotel. As you enter, the smell of bitter, crisp snow awakes you, and you sit down in the plush red velvet chair, ready to enjoy some hot chocolate. Uh, what now? Um, okay, I'm not sure what ways I can go. I'm, I, I might crash the game here. Uh, drink. I don't know how to drink. Okay, cool. Right. I don't know how to drink. I mean, it's going to be a short life. Right. Um, can I go north? Can't go that way. For God's sake, Karen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Demand to speak to the manager of this hotel. Um, let's go south. Right. My room. Hmm. To the left of the door is a sophisticated ensuite, and then you walk some more. You reach the comfy queen-size bed, which has mint chocolates on the pillows. Yes, and a bookshelf with lots of old and new books for you. I read that in the wrong order. Um, can I read those books? Uh, that's not how you spell read. Don't know how to read. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, right. Um. So, hang on, let me just get a piece of paper, because I'm going to attempt to map this out. Um, I, oh yeah, there's chocolates, isn't there? Can I eat the chocolates? No? Okay, I assume, I'm going to assume for the rest of this game uh, that I can only um, move. There's no additional commands in there. Although, do we have a look? I can look, we know how to look. Right, I'm just going to get a pen. Will my will my headset reach across to the other table where the pens are? Um, yes, yes, it will. Right. Okay. So we started off. Uh, we were in a nice hotel room, right? And we went south. Um, uh, Cool. Right. Let's see. Let's see. Can we go east? Yes! The cafe! The aroma of fresh bread and pastries makes its way to you and you're soon captivated by the sights of hundreds of pieces of colourful confectionery. Oh, God! I want pastry now! Which way was that? That was east. Okay. Uh, can I keep on going east? No. Uh, north? No. South, no. Oh. It is a bit intense, but if you've ever been to a cafe which has got delicious fresh fresh pastries, sweet rolls, <laughs> man, it's so good. Uh, can I go south from here? And imagine that as well. Your room is literally right next door to the cafe. Man. Okay, I can't go that way. The conservatory, a beautiful, bright and spacious place to write novels, fresh stacks of paper and leather-bound journals, fill the room and quills and pens sit neatly nearby. What now? Write a book! I don't, I don't know how to... Oh, I spelt book wrong, that's why. Uh, write a book. Um, I, th I, this, is, this is, you know, in the age of social distancing... This is the most adventure that I've had um, in a in a long time. There is no accent on cafe. I mean, everyone's a critic, Alex. Um, cool. Okay. Now uh, I am going to. Can I go? I don't think I can go anywhere else from here. Um, right. So 
I thought that was pretty well done. We got one of the things that I liked about this is the fact that you've got the uh, the different coloured text. So those of you that weren't sure how said different coloured text works, um, do, 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 let's find the thing. This is it here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is what's known as an ANSI escape code. It's something that you can use in terminals um, on uh, decent operating systems. So I think it will work on um, anything that's not Windows. Um, with Windows you have to do some other fancy stuff. I mean the the way that it works in PyCharm uh, it will run, uh, it will do the ANSI escape um, uh, stuff in there. So um, there I will, I'll put a link up to the um, the different um, ANSI escape codes that you can use. Uh, there are, there's some pretty cool things that you can do with it. So you set the background color, you can set the foreground color. Um, I, I don't know if it will work on Temple OS to be fair. Um, but then, <laughs> oh man. Um, isn't Kindle Fire, isn't that based on Android? And Android is based on Linux. So, I don't know. I might I might be wrong on that front. I don't know the ins and outs of um, ebook reader operating systems, so maybe I'll have to brush up on that. Um, but they, it can be fairly complex to understand to start off with. But um, by fudging examples, uh, you can uh, you can you can you can do all that stuff. So there we go. That was uh, that was a pretty cool one. Um, thank you very much for the to the creator of that one. Right, should we move on to this next one? Oh God, stop and rerun. There we go. Um, Okay, here we go. Donlock Town. Right, I, this is... Uh, I can't zoom in too much on the text because uh, it's going to um, go off screen. Um, but there we go. Right, okay, so here we go. Donlock Town. Donlock has a grand temple at the centre and is known for having powerful guilds. Four shops surround you. Okay, so um, let's, let's do this map again. That's where we start off. So we're in Donlock Town here. If I go north, presumably that will take me into a uh, into a. Sh I'm getting Donald Trump vibes. Ah, yeah, I see, I see. The striking spirit. The tavern is a marble and large single-story building with several shuttered windows and a small small Vegeta. That's power level must be over nine thousand. Oh no, small vegetable garden. Inside sit inside sells multiple drinks and food items. Inside is filled with many drunk men <laughs> and a single bartender. I mean that's pretty much every pub, right? Um what now? Um I wonder if I can talk. Nope, don't know how to talk. Okay, cool. Um don't actually uh, do you know what? I'm I'm gonna cheat a little bit and have a look at the code and see if there are any other uh, commands other than uh, no, we've just got movement and talking. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, do -do 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 -do. Right. So, um, can I go? Can I go north again? No, I can't go that way. East, uh, west. No. Okay. Right. So let's just go back out. So that was the pub up there. Cool. Uh, can I go? It did say I could go all. These people are mute. <laughs> yes. Um, wait. Okay, so we're back in Donlock Town. Let's go south from Donlock Town here. Small cottage. The house is a single-story building. It contains a single room with a bed and dresser. A bunch of dried fruit hangs from the ceiling in long strands. A big working dog is eager to greet it. Oh, cool. Dogs are ace. Pet dog. I know this won't work. I'm just typing it in. Don't know how to pet dog. Uh, yeah, the protagonist is always mute and always has an annoying companion. Hey, listen. Shut up, Navi. Um, so I wonder if I can go anywhere from in here. No, uh, I assume. So um, I'm guessing that the, the layout is just going to be... Um, Go north. Uh, let's go west here. The Griffin Spider. That sounds amazing. Um, what does it say? The uh, 
The Enchanter is a timber and brick and sprawling single-story building. It contains low ceilings and a floating glass pyramid. The owner sits in a regal chair from an old noble's house like it's their throne. Man. Um. Let's go west. Uh, what else have we got here? Wait, I can't go. I can't go west. For, oh, of course, I can't go west from the Griffin Spider. Let's go. Um, the White Workbench. The blacksmith is a wood-framed two-story building. It contains piles of scrolls and books on the counter, and along the walls, in a large hot forge in the middle of the shop. It's quiet inside the shop, with a single blacksmith stood in the center. Wait, stood in the center? Is he not stood inside his own forge? That's how powerful. That's how powerful he is. Incidentally, I watched The Mandalorian um, yesterday, um, and there was a blacksmith of sorts in that, and she was pretty damn nails. Um, the Mandalorian was, was quite good um, in terms of... I think it was the one of the best Star Wars things uh, that I've seen. At least it was the best Star Wars thing that I saw yesterday. Um Cool. And now I think I think that is that's pretty much it for the look at this though. Right, here's a top tip, right? Uh, you can see there's a lot of um Pep 8 uh style uh errors in here. Well, not errors, they're warnings, right? Uh if you're if you're sick and tired of seeing those things, right? Um you can see here look it's Pep 8 indentation is not a multiple of 4. You can easily fix those things by pressing control alt L. It sorts them all out for you instantly. Boom. Okay. Um, don't rely on it to automatically fix absolutely everything. Um, but an awful lot of those problems will uh, will just go away. Control Alt L. Okay. Um, so that was a that was a cool one. Thank you very much, uh, whoever um, whoever did that one. Here's the next one. Okay. Right, so uh, if any of you have this issue where you run your code and it doesn't actually do anything, uh, could be because we're not actually telling it to do anything. You can see here, um, this code, it has uh, a move function, it's got show description, it's got read input, it's got process input, but it doesn't actually have the game loop. Uh, I'm going to steal the game loop from this other game here, which might work, might not work. We shall see, we shall see. Um, all depends on what read input return. Right, this should this this should this should work now. Stop all, and let's run that. Boom! There we go. See, there's a quick fix. The entrance on a castle. You step inside the huge and dark castle. The, I I like the way this throws us straight into the action. Show don't tell. It's like you know. You don't need to say there's a dark castle in front of you. It's just like, boom, you're in that castle now. What are you going to do? I like that. Uh, the, there is an e eerie noise surrounds the castle. Thick, mossy walls in every direction. Wait, what? <laughs> I like that. That's great. Um, north. Do not go that way. Okay. It's not, you, it's not, I can't go that way. It's literally saying, don't go that way. This is brilliant. Um, okay, so don't go north. Fair, fair, fair enough. Let's go south. Um, okay, we're outside the castle in a remote place. Um, ancient monuments making you feel anxious. Acres of forest surround the great castle. Wait, what? Um, I, I can't tell if you're talking to me or the creator of the uh, or the, the 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 game here James when you say uh, Jesus calm down or if you're genuinely talking to Jesus um ba -ba 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 -ba. okay so uh, can i go south again do not go that way okay so can't can't, can't go south uh okay let's go east yes we're in the garden you're in the garden the fresh smell of flowers around you making you feel like it's summer. With a fountain, the noise seems relaxing. Yes. Uh, I mean, this, 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 so we're in this, here we go. We're in this nice, relaxing garden. Let's, what happens if you go east? Do not go that way! 
This is brilliant. This is the best game I've ever played. Uh, if I go west, can I go west again? Yes, we're in the king's room. Wait, wait a minute. So if I go north, north is the entrance of the castle. And then if I go south, we're outside of the castle. And then west goes to the king's room. There, there's a, I think there's a security issue here. Uh, in that the king's room ideally should be inside the castle but okay, that's fine uh, you follow a sign that leads you to the king's room you turn the door handle to open the room finding a massive king size uh, there's got to be a king size bed in the king's bedroom right into the center of the room now I make that typo as well I only mention it because that's a data type as well so uh, the king's bed is a whole number um, the walls don't exist, yeah. I mean, that's the that's the problem with... Um, I'm just going to use that trick again. Control L, L to sort out the Pepe errors. Um, you see, that's nice and nice and free of errors. Um, cool. I think we've visited every, uh, uh, every location here. So, nice. Um, you are no clipping. Yes, we're no clipping. Um... Okay, that was that was nicely done. I think if I if I type in uh, something that is not a command, it should. Yeah, we go. It me. <laughs> I like that. Look, if I type in a command, like if I say um, go to space, me no English. Go to space. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. I like that. Um. So that was yes, very good, very good. Um. But you see, the the thing about this, um, once you've once you've got the basics in place, the creating of the of the world is you know you don't really have to have to think about it, you know, uh, because you, we've got all you have to do is add the rooms up here and then link them all together down here. You know, you could even, in theory, read it in from a text file. Is that moderate racism or just accurate? Impressionism. It's accurate impressionism. I do not support racism um, on this channel. Uh, that's why I I do not support um, most gaming YouTubers because they seem pretty racist. Right here we go. Next one. Let's run this next one. Oh no, we got an error. Okay, right. So let's see if we can debug this. Um, if this is your code, if you recognize this code, then um, this will help you debug it. So it says, and I'm going to, this this might be helpful for you guys as well, because this is the, um, uh, this is the process that I go through when I'm debugging something. So let's look at this trace back here. It tells you um, a line, um, well, you might get multiple lines where there's an error, okay? And you might be thinking, oh, well, how, how does that help? Well, it's because this tells you um, where the error was, uh, where the error happened, but also the line that was that was calling it. So if you have a look at line 127, that's this bit here that calls show description, right? That's not where the error occurred, but it means that if there's no error when we look at line 83, you can trace your way back and you can find out what was going on before, okay? So um, let's go up to uh, line 83 here. Um, th right, okay, so this apparently is the problem. It says, uh, key error, description. That's, that says to me that the rooms do not have a property called description. So the error itself is not on this line. And that's where uh, a lot of people think, oh, well, I can't see anything wrong with that line. Therefore, the error reporting is is wrong. But that's that's not the case. It it's the error. All the error reporting does is say where it where it messed up. It's it's sort of on you to trace this back. So we're accessing um, the rooms list, and it's claiming that there is nothing called description, right? So if we go up to where we actually created the rooms list, okay, it looks like they've got descriptions here, but if you look very carefully here, right, we printed out the bedroom. It's the bedroom which is the problem. Look at all of these. Description, description, description. Can anyone, just by looking at this code here, can anyone say what is different about room zero compared to room one, room two, room three? Boom. Yes. So, simple fix. There you go.
okay? And it really can be down to something that simple that prevents your entire uh, program uh, from working. So now if we run that again, we should... There we go. Right. You've just woken up from a beautiful dream. You rub your eyes only. I, I You know what? I've had some really, really weird dreams. Um, I'm not sure if I'd describe them as beautiful. They're just odd. Um... They were involving there, there was there was there was a robotic um, uh, creature. It's not actually a creature that exists in my dream. It was called an upu, and uh, it was like a, a a weasel, but it was it was a robotic one. Um, and anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, you've just woken up from a beautiful dream. You rub your eyes only to open them and notice your phone is missing. Oh no! Oh no! What will I do? Top tip, by the way, guys, uh, leave your phones downstairs when you go to bed. You don't need your phone when you're in bed. Leave it downstairs, right? And if you use your phone as an alarm clock, buy an alarm clock and use the alarm clock as an alarm clock, right? Just leave your phone downstairs. You don't need it, okay? If the phone is the first thing you reach for in the morning, you've got some issues. Right, I, I had one where I was flying on... Flying to Vladivostok on a plane and Donald Trump was sat next to me and Josh Jones got abducted by the KGB. I would watch that movie. Would watch that movie. Um. Okay, right, cool. I have mine under my bed. No, don't even have it in the same room. Just just leave it downstairs. You don't need it. You do not need it. Um. Tommy, yeah, you mention OnlyFans all the time. I'm not sure you know what it is. What do you reach for? A newspaper? No, I don't. I get up in the morning, I go and have a shower, I get dressed, and then I come downstairs and I make myself some breakfast. You know, the world still turns. You, it's not. It's not important, right? Um. Cool. Right here we go. So uh, we're just woken up from a beautiful dream. Um. Okay, right, so our phone is missing. Uh, let's, let's find phone. Uh, so I assume the, the, the mission is to... Oh, no! Oh, no! None type is not subscriptable. Right, okay, let's debug this. So line 132. Um, let's go down to line 132. Um, I think I know the problem. So... Uh, player command that comes back from process input but if you look process input is no player command comes back from read input read input is either returning right but this is this is the problem here um, if we're returning multiple data types and then trying to check them, uh, yeah, we should just be returning a single, uh, a single boolean. Uh, so we don't now need that. I think this was, uh, yeah, cool. Let's run it again. Here we go. Right, we've just woken up from a beautiful dream. Uh, find phone. It should now give us a, hey, right. It just says none, right? Okay, it doesn't say, uh, it, right, that's probably not what we want to happen. But you know what? It doesn't crash. So, all right, that's, right, here we go. This, it, it sh this found the problem. Uh, print um go that way and then return false there you go this is a debugger at work there uh Okay, I mean, let's try that. Probably, probably ain't gonna work the way that we want it to. Um, find phone, none. Okay, right. You know what? It it doesn't crash. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna 
carry on with this. So let's go. Let's go south. Okay, cool. So directly south from the bedroom, we have the toilet. Before you can start searching, you take a massive poo and then head out. Head out where? Um, head outside? Like before I've even gotten dressed? What? What is this? Um, can I go south again? No. False. <laughs> False. <laughs> Can't go that way. False. Good. Uh, obviously, there's there's a few bugs to iron out in this. Um, if this is your game, um, please do not think that I am um, uh, ripping on you unnecessarily. Uh, the fact that you that you got it submitted and it's mostly working uh, puts you ahead of say 70% of the uh, of the other students. So don't don't worry about that. The whole point of this was to get you practicing programming. Right, okay, so let's go east. Can we go east? We're in a guest room. An ensuite room with a double bed and very little relevance to this game. Yes! I like this. I like that's very meta. Uh, nope. Uh, north, no, south. Oh, we're in the living room now. Uh, the Ah, uh, the most likely place it will be. Find phone. No. I don't think it actually accepts any input other than... Um, other than... Um, there's a lot of locations, though. I should probably map this lot out. You know what? I'm going to... Let me... I'm going to restart. Right. Here we go. Let's let's map this. Let's map this. This is, this is the Skyrim of uh, game submissions here. We start off bedroom can I go can I go north from the bedroom can't go that way uh, wait south was the toilet okay so cool um, west M right so I like how the toilet is the, appears to be the central hub for all of the rooms in the house uh, that's the master bedroom your parents bedroom an unlikely place to find the phone but the room May have some useful tools. Tools? Uh, now, I know I can't search for anything in here, so... Um, can I go north from here? No. South. Oh! South from the master bedroom is the kitchen. It's a sprawling metropolis. I like it. Contains snacks to keep you going. And some useful tools. There's tools all over the house here. Um... Let's go south again. No, can't go south. Uh, west? No, east. The basement? D dot, dot, dot. What now? South? No, north? East? Right, into the living room. This is the most interesting house layout. I assume this is in Adderbury. Um, living room. The most likely place it will be. Now, we were back round here before. Can I go east again? No. South from the living room. Um, if I go west, I should go back to the basement. Is that right? Yeah, let's go east. So, north from the living room takes us to the guest room. And if I remember rightly, if I go west from the guest room I should end up in the toilet yes this is a okay okay can I go south from the toilet and can't go south from the toilet okay so let's go east east from the guest room no cool okay so um yeah <laughs> visible confusion more like more like confused screaming um Let's just double check we went everywhere. So bedroom, toilet, master bedroom, guest room, kitchen, living room, basement. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a that's a pretty cool map there, right? I like that because it's more extensive than a lot of the uh, a lot of the ones that we did, and it didn't just follow my uh, my layout. So that was cool. Next, let's do this one. The graveyard. The graveyard. Get this man some TP. Yes, right, okay. Rain fell down onto the small monuments of smooth stone. 
Strong winds blow across your face as you kneel in front of the gravestones scattered around you. A gate sways open in front of you, south, allowing an escape from the horrors. First of all, let me say, if this is yours, then give yourself a pat on the back, because in your description, you have explained which directions we can go in. Okay? I like that. I like that. So let's see if we can map this out. Graveyard. There's the graveyard. Cool. Um, so we're facing south. I like the So Cool. Let's go south. Outside the graveyard. Uh, who's is this? I don't know whose this is. I uh, I literally just copied and pasted all of the code from Google Classroom into new files. Um, so, um, so here we go. Uh, Although the sky was grey, it was bright enough to see. An abundance of trees lay ahead. A path split the forest. It extends to the east and west of you. Again, we've got clues as to which directions we can go in. I like this. These are good descriptions, man. These are good. Um, so it says we've got east and we've got west. This is I like the atmosphere in this. This is good. Um, let's let's go east first. Um, the house. I hope it's the house of the dead. The house of the dead. Um, you followed the path to the east. Amongst the trees, you discover a faint light. You follow to see where the source is coming from. It is a house! The door is closed. All the blinds are closed in the windows. The light seeps through from the room in the top left of the house. Okay, cool. So we've got a house. Now, I... So the door's closed. That implies that I can't actually go any further that way. Um... Okay, that's cool. So let's go. Let's go back now. Uh, one of the things that playing Japanese RPGs has taught me is that if you think you're going in the right direction, definitely turn around and go back in the direction that you've determined to be the wrong direction, because that's where all of the uh, the cool, uh, awesome weaponry can be found in chests. You know, um, if you if you think you're a approaching a boss, um, turn away. You know, he's he, he's not going to destroy the world until you get to him. Go back the other way uh, and find. Um, find all of the stuff. Thanks JRPGs, you ruined my life. Um, right, let's go west. The world's end! <laughs> you follow the path to the west. As you walk on, the tree line begins to break around you into a clearing. A small building re I assume that's recedes. Okay, just quick spelling check here. Uh, R e c w e d s. A small, or is it resides, which would be uh, R e s i d e. Doesn't matter. Um, a car is parked outside. The windscreen has been smashed in. All right, so this we're in Banbury now, right? Um, cool. And I assume. Um, wait. Cool. I don't. Don't think we can go um, anywhere. Get in the car. Um, get in car and no, it did not work. Did not work. Um. Cool. That, that, I like that. I like the descriptions. Uh, they were nice. Um, the um, uh, it handles errors uh, good. Um, Banbury, the drug capital of the South. I don't know. Are there there were some um, uh, neo Nazis arrested there not so long ago, um, which is not is not a great look for a town. Uh, but I'd imagine most most towns have drug problems, um, especially in um, if there's. Uh, Areas where there's not an awful lot of employment and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Anyway, this is. Don't want to get into politics on this because this is a gaming stream, and uh, usually uh, gaming stream YouTubers that get involved in politics end up being the worst people. They're usually racist and sexist and terrible. Um, <coughs> PewDiePie. <coughs> anyway. Uh, let's go on to the next one. 
let's try this. Oh! First of all, <laughs> imagine imagine running a game and the first thing it says is, do you want to play this game? I, I'm immediately second-guessing my life choices right now. Um, would I like to play? What happens if I say no? Let's find out. That's too bad. Excellent. Cool. I mean, already great game. Great game. Let's run it again, though. Uh, right. So, would I would I like to play? Uh, yeah, I, I want to play this time. I want to. Welcome to my adventure game. Oh, this is cool because not only not only um, does it ask us if we want to play, but it also got a little introduction explaining how the game works. Have fun exploring my mini world. Follow the directions in each room description. Every right direction you take, you earn a point. Every wrong direction you take, you lose a point. Oh no. Anxiety levels through the roof now. What if I make the wrong choice? The game ends when you have negative points. Okay. Right, here we go. Oil cans productions. What? Good. Great game, bad grammar too. Right, just 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 be advised, Tommy. Yeah, if you um, uh, if if you poke fun at people's grammar and spelling, um, you know, uh, it means that you will forever be scrutinised. And don't forget Mufri's law, uh, which states that uh, when you when you criticise grammar and spelling, you will often make a grammar or spelling mistake in there. I know you're kidding. I know you're kidding. Right, okay. Um, check this out, by the way. This is totally irrelevant. Who's that guy? It's Master Chief. Um, someone bought it for me for my birthday, um, thinking I like Halo. But I don't. Um, that's why it's on my desk. I like it. Uh, cool. So, here we go. Inside the beach hut. You stand in a cramped but comfy beach hut. The sound of waves crashing wraps on the front of the hut. Whoa! I think we're a little bit close to the close to the sea here. A door stands on the west of the hut, allowing access from the outside world. Right, okay, so I can go to the west, right? Uh, right, so we got we got that bit right. That, uh, I, I, I thought I'd failed there. I thought I'd lost the game, but I haven't. I haven't. No, I have not yet hung the floppy because I need to go to the range to get a frame for it uh, because I was going to have um, a, a, all the different like flavours of floppy disks on there um, but um, uh, the range is closed because of some pandemic or something going on at the moment. Um, yeah, the range, like the, the place to get crap for your house but some of the frames that they sell are, are, are quite good. That's where I got the frame for my um, Alan Turing uh, picture, which is which is up above the computer here, um, which you which you guys can't see. Um, right. Okay. So uh, I I got this right, but it asked me if I want to quit. So, so I'm I'm going to say no. I don't want to quit. Uh, this threw me off because I thought I'd lost already. No, I don't want to quit. Cool. Now we're on the beach. You're outside a beach hut, close to the incoming sea. Although it's the middle of summer, the wind billows around you, causing huge waves to crash. A narrow path extends south. Okay, cool. So we're going south, yeah? Excellent. Do you want to quit? No. The cliff! You follow the path to the south as it meanders up a cliff. Abruptly, the path stops and falls away sharply. Peering over the edge of the cliff, you watch small stones tumble down the sharp cliff face into the darkness below. This is, this is, this sounds like the least relaxing trip to Cornwall. Um, faint trails sprawl east and west of the path. Okay, now here's the thing, because it said if you go the wrong way, you get negative points, right? But now we've got a choice. Check if you can do the command jump. Okay, let's try this. Jump. I don't know how to jump. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. Should we? So we came from the south. No, we came from the north. We went south. Um. 
Let's go west. It, that west was the right direction. You know what, though? I'm gonna I'm gonna double check that because we're we're gonna see uh, if we can go east from that location. Um, do you want to quit? No. Right. So scores three at the moment. The rock pools. You follow the trail west as it goes downhill. The path becomes less steep as it nears some rock pools. They're filled with hundreds of fish, crabs, and other small creatures. You know what? Exploring like rock pools is one of the favourite things to do when I go to the beach. I love that stuff. Um, to the north northeast, a path goes along the beach to a beach. Wait a minute, does that mean we can get back to where we started? Let's go let's go northeast. Oh no. Have another look around. Do you, do you want to quit? No. Okay. Oh look. Oh that's cool as well. When you look it tells you what your score is. But it says to the northeast. Okay, right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Should we go north? Ah! What if we go east? You know, I'm I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna cheat because I'm gonna wait. I think I think there's a bug. I think there's a bug because look, if I put in no, I don't want to quit. If I put in northwest, no, I still can't go that way. Oh no, this is it. We're gonna die here. We're gonna die. Um, can I go west? No, I died. I died. Game over. Um, right, let's let's start again. Let's start again because I wanted to. Here we go. So we went south here. Um, oh, <laughs> that was a great game, wasn't it? Right here we go. Speed run. Speed run. Here we go. Um, uh, okay, so we went we went west to start off with, and then uh, we went. Uh, south, right? We went. Oh God, I I accidentally quit. I don't want to. I don't want to quit. Do you want to play? Yes. Right. Um, right. We went west. Wait. Did we go west? Yes, we went west. Right. Uh, cool. Do you want to quit? No. Okay. Here we go. Right. So we're on the beach, and uh, we go south here. So yeah. Do you want to quit? No. Boom. And this was where we went east and west. So if I go east... Oh, this is a different direction. We're at the cafe. You follow the trail east as it goes uphill. The path stops as it nears a derelict cafe. It looks abandoned and battered, like the one from The Goonies. Have you seen The Goonies? I should totally watch that film. Um, you can see the beach hut northwest in the distance. Hmm. Hmm. If I go northwest here. Yes. Right, so northwest takes us to the beach hut there. Okay. So, wait. We went. We went west. No. And then we went south. No. Right. And now, if we go west again here, that takes us back to that the rock pools. Yes. And it says to the northeast. But I don't think I don't think it's been linked in. I think that's the problem. If I go north, that you're right. Do you know what? Let's have a let's have a quick look at the linkage here. Yeah, you can see there's no room four. Is that the rock pools? Yeah, east just goes back to um, to where it was. So if I go east here, uh, do you want to quit? No. Um, cool. Uh, I mean that was pretty nice. I like the I like the fact that it keeps the the scores and everything. 
Um, that was pretty cool. I'm not. I'm not sure about the asking to quit every single every single time you do something. It's almost like the um, uh, the game has no self confidence. It's like, oh, I I know I'm not very good. Do you want to carry on playing? I just like just maybe have a command in there where you type in quit if you want to exit. Um. Do, 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 do. Can you go east, west, east, west, east, west, east? Yes, yes, you can do that, Alex. You can, you can do that. Um, so, obvi I mean, obviously, it's a good, it's a good starting point. Um, there's, uh, there's, there's some some interesting techniques been used in there with the with the score tracking uh, and the fact that you can quit at any point as well. Um, that's 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 kind of cool. Okay. Um, and you can see as well the um, the game loop. So the, this this happens before we get into the game loop. That's the introductory thing, saying welcome to my game, blah 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 blah. And the game loop itself has been extended. Um, I probably wouldn't have extended it like this. The game loop really should be calling multiple functions. What I would have done is that quit command uh, added it to the um, uh, to the read input uh, command or the process input command. Um, so, cool. What about the next one? What about the next one? Here we go. Uh, is it really eleven o'clock already? Uh, don't don't feel that you have to stick around for this, guys. Um, I'm going to keep on. I'm going to keep on going, um, regardless. So, do do do. What is this? Trace back error. <laughs> Player alive missing two required positional arguments: life and death. Okay. In line three hundred and eighteen. Um, this. Yep, this this is a this is a a, a larger one, right? Three hundred and eighteen. Uh, if not player alive, so player where's player alive? Player alive, life, death. If not life, you are dead. Return false. Not entirely sure how that's supposed to work. Uh, right here we go. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna enable God mode here. Um, uh, I assume this will get it working. There we go. Boom. Right. Okay. So uh, again, again, we've got a. Um, list of commands that you can type in so we've got northeast southwest northeast northwest southeast southwest grab any objects grab okay look around is l fight enemies we've got combat we've got combat yeah um i think we are definitely going to have to um definitely recruit allies let me just get Bethesda on the phone here. They're going to want to. They're going to want to hear about this. Yeah. Um, right. You are called Gollum. You really want your precious, which is currently in Mordor, about doom. You're currently in the Shire, and are following the Hobbitses who stole your precious. False. <laughs> what now? Uh. I don't know what's false. Um. <laughs> uh, okay, like, like if, uh, do L look around? <laughs> this is great. You're in the Shire. This is where the the ring last was, and that's a nasty little hobbit. Sis has taken it from you. You know he's headed to Bree in the east, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> um. Uh, excellent. Um, let's just have a, a quick look down here. 
Um, at what point does it set game running to false here? Show description player position. Okay. I don't why did it quit? I don't know why it quit. I w also want to know... Oh! Oh. You know what? Um, let's enable God mode there again. There we go. Right. D D D D D D D D D. What three randoms? Three random what? Uh, okay, so if I do L this time, yeah, cool, right. So uh, for some reason, when you looked, uh, you died. So um, we're not gonna. We're, I've, I've, I basically turned off any checking of the um, of the thing here. Right. Okay. Cool. So. This is where the ring lasts. A nasty little hobbit sees this taking it from you. You know he's headed to debris in the east. Right, okay, so if I do grab... There's no object here. Yeah, that, that's cool. Okay, so uh, if I go east... what? Uh, 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 okay, I, I mean, I went east. It's Shire. Why is Gollum in the Shire? Is that, Does he ever go to the Shire? Let's look around. Right, we're actually in Bree, okay? Um, it probably would have been nicer if the first time you go to a location, it shows you the description. Um, uh, Tommy wants to know who uh, Miss Yeti, Olicans, and Mesmo are. Uh, I mean, they're, they're entitled to their anonymity, right? Um, that's, that's fine. Uh, next, he's going to use no clip. I can use no clip because they, I, I can stick the command in there. Right. Okay. So, uh, you pass through Bree, expecting to see the Hobbit. He cannot be right. Let's put Bree in there. Bree. He cannot be found. However, you meet a man who tells you they have gone east to Rivendell. Okay. So, presumably, I'm going to go east again to Rivendell here. Um, can I recruit? There are no troops to recruit here. Okay, let's fight that man. I don't know. What? 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 <laughs> What's just happened? There are no enemies to fight here. You are dead. What now? Um. Okay, I'm not, enti not entirely sure. Um. Oh, if I remember rightly, the person that submitted this did say that the combat is not working. Okay, so let's not worry about that. Uh doesn't matter if we're dead or not. The guy said to go east, so that's where we're going. Let's have a look. Right, here we are in Rivendell. I'm sure Elrond won't have a problem uh, with, uh, with Gollum just striding into Rivendell. You've reached the home of Lord Elrond, Rivendell. The Hobbit meets up with Gandalf the Grey, a wizard, and forms a fellowship. The members are a dwarf, an elf, two... I assume that's supposed to be two men. Two men and four hobbits. To the west is Bree, and to the east are the Misty Mountains. Oh, right, okay, so we've got um, Bree, we just went back there. East are the Misty Mountains. To the south... To the south there is the dangerous path of the Mines of Moria. You do not know which path they will take. Uh, well, I know, I know from reading the books that there's goblins in the Misty Mountains, but the Mines of Moria, there's a Balrog in there. Um, so, um, fight. There are no enemies here to fight. You are dead. Uh, recruit. There are no troops to recruit here. Okay, cool. Let's go, let's go south. Where are we going? This was the Mines of Moria, right? Moria. 
The mines of Moria go deep beneath the misty mountains. They are dark and gloomy, and the way is barely visible. You see, the hobbits go southeast to Lorien. Oh man, you know who's in Lorien. That's right, my girl Galadriel. Oh no, an enemy stands in my way. Um, fight. You're fighting a cave troll. Yes! This, this is the quality content I subscribed for. Uh, will you fight or run? I'm going to fight. You have. What will you use to fight? I've got nothing, man. Um, uh, face. I'm going to use my face. Your strength is one. You fight cave troll with face. Your strength is one. You lost to a cave troll. You are dead. What now? Remember, I turned off the checking whether you're dead or not. Um, the 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 book in uh, the HTML lessons wasn't it? It's was like it was Galadriel's um, what's it called um, Instagram page, wasn't it? Uh, right. So, can I fight this troll? You fight in a cave troll, we fight or run. What happens if I run? You ran away, a cave troll lost you. Zero. What now? God damn it. I'm never going to get past this troll. Let's fight. Um, right, what am I going to use to fight? Um, Thermonuclear device. You fight cave troll with thermonuclear device. Your strength is one. You lost to a cave troll. You are dead. What now? Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go north. What do you mean I can't go that way? I mean, I, I came south to get here. Does that mean I'm just trapped in the mines of Moria forever? Uh, I'm going to cheat again. Oh, good God. There's a lot of rooms here. Um, all right. Mines, Mines of Moria. Shire. Bree. Mines of Moria. Right. Mines of Moria is room two. <laughs> so have a look at room two. Right. Southeast. Yep. It's, it's only that way, right. Um, cool. Look at this. All of the enemies have got strength zero, except for the cave troll has strength 20. What? I know. I reckon I was supposed to go to the Misty Mountains first. Because look. Oh, wait a minute. There's an object in... Right, here we go. Quick restart here, quick restart. What are we going to do? We're going to go uh, east, and we're going to east again. We should be in Rivendell now. Yes. Grab. Boom. I've got Andruil. I've got Isildur's sword. That cave troll is going down. He is going down. Um, right, so southeast, yeah? Can't move. An enemy stands in your way. Right, we're going to fight this troll here. Uh, I'm going to fight it. I'm going. Do I have to type in all of that? Can I just type in Andrewil? <sighs> See if I can just copy and paste that. No, didn't work. Yeah, I mean this troll's in the in my way, man. Um and I want to see what else is in the game. I might just I might just disable the troll. Um let me just have a look at the way that combat works. Here we go. Your strength is if strength is greater than enemy strength. That's hard coded in there. Right, okay. There we go. Right, so we're going do, 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 east and east, and we're grabbing that sword. 
Um, and we're going south to the Mines of Moria, and we're going to fight the Cave Troll. Doesn't matter what I use to fight, um, because... There we go. I cheated and gave myself 100 strength, and that allowed me to beat the Cave Troll, but still die, uh, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> right, that's, that's fine. It's fine. It's how you win at games, right? What do you mean an enemy stands him? I just killed it! No! Grr. Okay. Okay. I know how to fix this. Um, look at this. I want to get to Gondor. There's 3,000 3, men there. You can... As if you can recruit 10,000 Urukai. Okay. Um, where's Moria? Mines of Moria, there we go. Um, wait, where's, where's the stuff about the enemies, man? Alright, here we go. Um, here we go. Do you know what? This time, because I know that, that I've, I've removed that cave troll, no longer exists. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to go east and see what's at the Misty Mountains, what's, what's going on here. Um, High in the mountains is snow or is all around you. You don't see any footprints in the snow. The Hobbit says can't have gone this way. You must go back to Rivendell. Okay, well, I mean, that was a disappointing dead end, but whatever. Um, so if I now go south to Moria, uh, I should be able to go southeast. No, I can't. I can't. Oh, uh, why? Why can't I? Um... I must I must have messed up some code here. Uh line hundred and ninety two. Line hundred and ninety two. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I see how it works. Cool. All I need to do is do this. Do, 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 do. Name equals false. Right. Cool. Let's go uh, east, east, grab. It's got the sword. Let's go south and southeast. And finally, yes! We're in Lorien. Yes! Um... Lorien, a place of elves is before you. The Lady Galadriel, a very powerful elf, pities you. Don't pity me. I'm all right. Come on. She tells your hobbit has passed through here and gone south to Fangorn Forest. What now? Kiss Galadriel. Oh, I typed in kill. <laughs> oh, God. I don't know what I don't know what a psychologist would have to say. I, I meant to type in kiss and I ended up typing in kill. <laughs> I mean, it's not even, the L and the S are on opposite sides of the keyboard. Don't know how to kiss Galadriel, I suppose. I've never done it before. Oh god. Um Ask Galadriel um, for Don't know how to ask Galadriel. Yeah, I mean that's the story of our lives, right guys? Um yeah, sorry, I I, part, I did not mean to kill Galadriel. I don't know I don't know why. I think it was because I was typing in Kiss and I said Galadriel and there's L's in that word so um, so there you go anyway 
Um, I don't think there's any items to grab here. Um, oh, I picked up some lembas. Excellent. That's gonna that's gonna be a useful snack. Uh, which way did she say to go south? Was it? Yes. Let's go south. Nope. And here we are in Fangorn. The canopy above you blocks most of the sunlight. The forest groans, and you meet an ent person who looks after trees called Treebeard. He wants to wage war on Isengard. Isengard. How do you say that word? Isengard. They're taking the hobbits there, I heard. Uh, will you help him? To the southeast is dead marshlands, to the south is Rohan, and to the southwest is Isengard. This is a fairly extensive map here. Um, can I do recruit? Hey! We recruited 50 Ents. Um... South. Let's go southwest first. Where are we? Isengard. Uh, in it lives Saruman, the White Wizard. He will help you if you haven't been to Rohan. He will give you charge of ten thousand Urukai if you bring the Ring of Power to him. To the northeast is Fangorn Forest, and to the east is Rohan. Okay. Um. Ha! Got the orcs without even bringing him that ring. Take that, Saruman. Uh, meet their leader, King Theoden, who agrees to help you if you take the ring from Mordor. You lead. You now lead 2,000 of his best riders to the south of Gondor and the west is Isengard. Okay, so does that mean I can just recruit these guys? Yeah, I have got an army to do battle with here. And what do you mean I can't go that way? Is it? Oh, south is Gondor. What? Nope. Right, let's go s southeast. Marshlands surround you. You can hear the screams of ring wraiths and Nazgul in the sky. You know the hobbits went east to Mordor. Yeah, let's just go east to Mordor then. Can I get to Gondor? I don't know. Mordor, the land of Sauron. His eye scours the region. You are close. You see the hobbitses riding northwest to Mount Doom. Go get them. You've made it to Mount Doom. The hobbitses are ahead of you. They both have swords, but their backs are turned. You see the precious. You must fight for it. Fight. There are no enemies here to fight. You are dead. North. No, east, west, south. Oh, no. I guess this is all that has been programmed. Where do we get up to? Mordor, yeah? Um. Oh, no, it was Mount Doom, wasn't it? There we go. Uh, Mount Doom is number 11. Is 11 linked in anywhere? No, that's it. That's that's the end. Right, I mean, that was... I like I like the Lord of the Rings aspect to it. I like the fact that combat had been thought of, if not fully implemented yet. Uh, this got legs. I'm looking forward to uh, to seeing uh, the final the final thing. I've got a couple more to do. Oh, oh no! I just closed one by accident. Um. Did I close? Stop and rerun. No, I've done that one. Um about this one. Do 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 Oh What happened? You wake up with the sharp stench of smoke filling your nostrils. As you slowly take everything in around you, you notice that your left arm is limp and weak. That's that's me showing my left arm is limp and weak. Why is Star Trek in your assets? Don't look, don't worry about it, man. Doesn't matter. <laughs> your clothes are tattered and there are some slight burn marks on your shoes. Turning around, you notice a large hunk of metal, completely mangled and broken. You notice a compass by your feet. It still works. Just so you know, I am APL 300. I will be your guide in this adventure. Excellent. I like it already. I like it already. <laughs> 
Near the wreckage site, the place where you woke up is smoky and cluttered as the golden sand em envelops any sort of remaining items to your west side. Uh, you ponder whether it is worth it to search the wreckage. Your compass shows that... Oh, this is cool! You get a compass right at the start, and that shows you which way you can go. Yes, well done for working that into a game mechanic. I like it. Um, your compass shows that the jungle is northwest. There's a pleasant looking lagoon to the east. You also see a figure to the south. Right, okay, cool. So we're here. Uh, what does it say? We've got... Can I go to the west? I don't know. Uh, jungle is northwest. Lagoon to the east. And there's a figure to the south. Okay, cool. So... Oh yeah, you can't see it. What's going on there? What is what is going on there? Um, one sec. There you go. Is that right? You can see it now, right? I mean, I was reading it out for you, so you, know, you, don't, you don't have to worry about that. Right, okay, cool. Um, enter your next direction. Um, I'm going to try searching that. Can I search the wreckage in the, in the, to the west? Yes. Yes! A closer look. And yeah, I, this is a cool feature as well, having the dotted line underneath. So it's like, here's the new thing. It's nicely spaced out. Well done. Good. Tick. Heat begins to radiate onto your body as you cautiously inch towards the metal. The smoky smell begins to get greater. You notice that a few suitcases are sinking into the sand as well as what seems to be a chair. Not to mention the sheer amount of scrap metal sinking in too. You also notice some sort of long rod with a shoe on the end sticking out of the wreckage. You begin to get anxious. Maybe you shouldn't have come over here. Uh, and then from there... Northeast goes to the jungle. Okay. Um, I assume I assume that there's no commands other than look in this one. Yeah, that confirms it. Okay, uh, let's go to the jungle. Northeast. Welcome to the jungle, as they uh, as they say in um, Guns and Roses songs. Um, as you enter the luscious expanse of greenery, a bug promptly sits on your head. A few lizards scuttle around the soggy floor, while more small bugs begin to feast on your bare legs. You hear the mellow singing of birds over your head, and the distinct cry of some large cat in the distant shrubbery. You ponder whether or not you go deeper. You can either go southeast, back to where you woke up, or southwest to explore the strange metal mass. I don't know whether this is the case or not, um, but it would be really cool if the um, if the descriptions told you what was there only if you'd already been there. So if I went to the jungle before I'd gone to the um, the strange metal mass, uh, it would be cool if it says you know, it goes to the southwest. You know. And there's a there's a there's a thought. Uh, okay, let's go back to where we started. Um, so we're going southeast near the wreckage site. And what? So we've got a. Let's go to the lagoon to the east. I'm trying to avoid that person. To start off with. Entering this foreign area, you feel a sudden sense of tranquility. It seems like nothing can harm you here. Looking down at the elegant ripples of water, you catch a glimpse of stunning tropical fish dancing in the twinkling fluid. The, these descriptions are on point, man. This is, this is exactly what a text-based game needs to be like. You know, it needs to be like reading a great book. There are trees around here too. They seem to be completely full of fruits and nuts. It seems like you could comfortably live off these for a good long while. You can now go west, back to where you woke up, or southwest towards the strange figure you saw earlier. Okay, so presumably... Okay, let's, so, let's go southwest. 
A survivor? Approaching this thing, you slowly begin to realize that it's a human figure. It seems to be struggling with starting a fire. As you don't really have much memory as what has caused you to arrive here, you're still confused as to whether they're in the same situation as you or an island native. You can now go north, back to where you wake up, or northeast towards the lagoon. Excellent. Well, first of all, obviously this is... Um, incomplete in the sense that uh, there's uh, in fact there's a creator's note here because this game is nowhere near completion some interactions that might be seen as available such as exploring deeper into the forest are not available this is merely to experience the environments on offer in this land this is this is great it's a good good demonstration of uh, the way that these things go it's very nicely laid out descriptions are wonderful um yeah generally speaking um pretty good as well it, uh, I, oh I like that as well I'm sorry my limited data banks make me unable to blah 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 uh, so the actual the the, um, the validation messages are um, uh, tuned in with the uh, the mise-en-scene of the uh, uh, of, of the game I like it that's good that's good uh, so we've got a couple more is this one uh, have I already done this one do you want to play the game? Um, yep. Cool. Okay. <laughs> good, good game. Yeah. Uh, la, 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 la. Do you want to play this game? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go. I assume I have to type in the full thing. Yes. Yep. Let's find out what I actually need to type. In order to play the game, if answer dot lower dot strip, ah, there we go. Presumably, I just need that. Yeah. There we go. Right. Good. Cool! You leave your house to go buy some toilet paper. Excellent. Topical. I like it. Which store will you go to? Tesco's or Sainsbury's? Okay, this is this is different. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Tesco's, although Sainsbury's, I don't know. They're, um, I mean, Waitrose, um, although expensive, have a better track record environmentally than other uh, supermarkets. Uh, although I find myself shopping at Aldi. Uh, for the most part, because they do some decent vegan stuff, um, and uh, their cosmetics uh, line, they don't test on animals, um, and uh, it's cheap as chips as well. So, uh, but I don't have that choice. Yeah, co-op, uh, co-op, co-op's a good one. I don't have a co oh no, I fell. What? I I hit enter by accident. You fell into a ditch and died. Come on, man. Um. Here we go. Right. Do you want to do you want to play? Yes. Right. You leave that. Right. So. Ah. Oh. So I, I die if I go to Sainsbury's. Cool. OK, let's. What happens if we go to Tesco's? Excellent. Good. So. Um, Sainsbury's is a death sentence. In fact, anything other than Tesco's apparently is a is a death sentence. Um, you arrive at the shop and see the car park is full. What will you do? Go to Sainsbury's or try and find a spot in the car park. I mean, do I have to type out that whole thing there? I go. Sorry, go go to Sainsbury's. Wait, how did I fall? If I'm in a car, how did I fall into a ditch? in the first place right cool so I assume I assume trying to find a parking space in Tesco's would have led to instant death as well um, you arrive at the shop you find a parking space and enter the shop you head to the toilet paper aisle and there is only one pack left you head down the aisle towards the last pack and realize there is an old lady in the aisle will you leave the toilet paper for the old lady or take it for yourself um, I mean, I guess the mission is to get toilet paper, right? So, take... 
Do I have to type in take it for yourself? Because that kind of... Oh, no. You're cruel, but fair enough. You head to the till and pay. On your way home, you get hit by a car. You die. Game over. That was pointless. And, yeah, cool. Let's have a look at this code, because, um, yeah, as I suspected, it's an endless stream of if statements, which is not its not the greatest way of programming anything. I mean, it, it works, but it doesn't make it particularly easy to maintain um, let, but it does it does mean that we can go through and we can we can I mean this this makes it more like a visual novel than an adventure game I guess um, you search for hours and finally find a space but there's a child there is a child in a zorb approaching your spot what will you do run him over or wait for another spot so if we say run him over you were in a horrible car crash you died uh, wait for another spot where you're boring. You wait for another spot and die of thirst. Okay, cool. Um, you go home and use the newspaper instead. You lived. You see, the the problem with having lots of if statements is it leaves um, it leaves um, limited scope for for doing. You know, you end up sort of going down these paths and you can't back up down down the path so here we go um, what what would have happened if I left the toilet paper you're a good person the old lady pays for the pack and offers you a roll will you accept yes or no congrats you have achieved your goal as you approach your car a shady figure emerges and stabs you stealing the toilet paper and running away um, so it looks like no matter no matter what you do you die um, Oh wait, but look here. I I typed in Tesco's. And we end up there. If you type in Sainsbury's in the first place, and it looks as well like there's a lot of copied and pasted code here as well. Yeah, I mean this is exactly the same as it as it was before. Um, so yeah, uh, that, that's another problem with the using the, um, the things right. Uh, read Discord before running. Okay, what's saying Discord? Oh God, there's too many messages. What's all these messages? Um, don't look at your inventory. Make sure the new file is empty. Okay, all right. We'll see how this goes. Okay, so this was uh, the final, the final one of the day. Um, let's let's see what we got here. I'm just going to run it from the start. Control Shift F10. Nope. Control Shift F10. Yep. Let's zoom in here. Look at this. Look at the way it's. No, you can't actually see that. Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Um, There we go. Can you see that? The way it's writing. Uh, the default map is called default. All commands can be listed by by ting. Ha Wait, I didn't have time to read it. I'm gonna I'm gonna start again. Here we go. Default map is called default. All commands can be listed by ting help when loaded into a game. Only. Run in a console. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, right, let's. Right, let's run uh, in the console. So, um, where is it? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, 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 oh. Um, what's in here? What? Oh. 
If you a big dumb and don't know how to install, run. Okay, right. You know what? I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. It's gone away. It's gone away. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Let's fix that. Is it back? Nope. No, that's what is happening right now. I mean, I'm, I'm. Alex wants me to run his in a console, so I'm trying to actually uh, get the console displayed on the uh, screen, but it ain't, it ain't working for some reason. Let's just get rid of that. Yes, I want to remove that. Okay, let's try adding it again. Window capture. Okay, and nope. And I'll tell you what, we will try. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to run it in the, um, what's it called? Um, there we go. Okay, cool. Right, cool. We've got something there now. And I will get rid of that pie charm window. So there we go. Uh, hopefully you can all see that all right. Can you see that all right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um... If, I mean, if this if this doesn't look great, then I'm just going to run it in PyCharm, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Um, oh god! Boom! Thank you for playing. The default map is called Default. All commands can be listed by Ting Help when loaded into a game. Only load games that come from yourself or a trusted source. Please run with Python.exe. Do you want me to make this font bigger? Um, I can possibly do that. Um, don't know whether that'll work or not. There we go. Font's a bit bigger now. Here we go. Um, right, game file. Let's use default. Default. Boom. Loading game file. Default. You're in a squarish room. There is a sound of trickling water coming from the only door in the room. The door heads north. In the corner of the room, you find a compass. What now? Um, I mean, I assume that uh, the... Can I get compass? I don't know how to get compass. Okay. Um, help. Oh, there is a help thing in there. Inv help. What? What now? But Alex says the inventory doesn't work. So let's let's obviously that's going to be the first thing that I do. Um, player inventory. Coin zero. Cool. Uh, it's just like in real life. Um, right. What now? Let's go north. You're in a circular room. There are three doors, east, south and west. You notice the north wall looks different. On the west door, there is a sign that looks like a repeat symbol and a skull. What's a repeat symbol? Um, towards the east door... There, right, I'm going to map this out. So, I started off and I went north. Boom, let's go. We go north, here we go. Um, right, so now there are three doors. East, south, which I've already been, uh, and west. You notice the north north wall looks different. Um. <laughs> uh, can I... Snake holding an apple. Right, okay, I'll tell you what, let's just go let's go east. You're in a rectangular room with two doors, west and east. In the middle of the room you find a small pile of coins. You collect it, you gain five coins. Yes, let's just double check they're in our inventory. 
Yes, I've got five coins. Boom, going to Tesco's with them. No, Tes no, yeah, no, I can go to Tesco's. If I went to Sainsbury's, I'd die in a ditch. No, actually, I get stabbed regardless. I'm not going to either of those shops. I'm just going to hold on to those coins. Cool, okay. Um, we've got two doors west and east. Let's go east again. You're in another rectangle room with two doors, west and east. In the middle of the room, you find a large pile of coins. You collect it. I, yes! I should have 15 coins now, right? Boom. So many coins. Uh, I might as well. I hope this carries on. Oh, we're in a square room now. There's a shelf on the east wall. On the shelf, there is a large a large bog of coins. I don't like the look of that. Come on, man. <laughs> That's... Nah. You can't have... You can't have instant death rooms. At least not with the option of a back out. Okay, so I, I'm going to put a skull and crossbones in my... Uh, in my little map here. Right. I can't get the compass or anything, right? No. Alright, let's just go north. Okay, so I can go I can go east twice to get those um, things. Uh, one of the things that I will say, I like the text crawl effect thing here, but there, there should be a way of skipping it. Um, so I can say, yep, seen that now. Boom, let's, can I just move on? Let's go east. So I can move east twice to get those coins, and then I can go back. I mean, it's the only collectible that I've seen, so I just want to get get some more coins. Coins are all right, man. Right, now I can go back west. Ah, I, I like the fact as well, it recognises that uh, I've picked up those coins, so it doesn't give me the coins again. Well done, it's good. There's five coins in there, there's ten coins in there. Right, we're in this circular room again. We've been south, we've been east. I'm just going to try going north, right? I mean, it says that the north wall looks different, right? If I go north... You inspect the north wall. You notice a secret passage that leads to a cavern filled with water. Excellent. That's a secret. Um, to the north there is a boat that will cost you ten coins and will allow you to cross the water. To the east... Uh, to the east there is a dangerous path that only the best climbers could use. Uh, I'm just going to go back south here. What? What do you mean? I can't, can't go that way. I don't know how to look. No, I can't. I can't look. Um, does that mean I'm, I'm just trapped in here? I can't. I can't go west. No. Okay. Well, I've got coins, so I might as well go north and get the boat. Did it say the door was sealed shut? Halfway across the journey, an old man appears behind you and asks for the ten coins. You hand over ten coins. The man disappears and the boat continues its journey. Yes, I paid the ferryman. Take that. Cat in, in little known fact, um, the, the guy that um, ferries you across the river Styx uh, in Greek legend. Uh, I'm going to type his name in here. Uh, you might see that name and you might think Charon. Um, that's not actually how it's pronounced. It's pronounced Karen. So there you go. Um, it's actually pronounced Charon, I think, but whatever. Um, you hand over the ten coins, the man disappears, and the boat continues its journey. Um, you reach the other side and there's a small doorway north into another room. So we're now across the other side here. 
So there's only there's only there's just a doorway north. Okay. Um, okay, let's just go north. Here we go. You're in a large square room with one door to the west. On the east side of the room is a rectangle with a cloth over it and a warning to never look at it. Never look at what? Never look at this cloth or never look under the um never look under the Right, so we've got one one door to the west. On the east side of the room is a rec well I mean, I know Curiosity killed the cat, but... Decide to take the cloth off, ignoring the warning. Underneath the cloth is a mirror. The mirror has a word you don't understand written on the top. Eriste. Uh, that's desire, backwards. In the mirror you see yourself, but there are there is others there too. Your family. You see them eating together. You see them caring for you, loving you. That never happened. What? You go crazy and die of starvation? <laughs> Come on, man! Okay. See what I mean? On multiple playthroughs, the, the text crawl thing becomes a little bit of a hindrance. I'd like the ability to turn that off. Right, I'm going to go north, though. Uh, Alright, we're going to explore the ways that we didn't explore before. And after I've done that, we'll have a look at, at the code and how it's put together. Um, because uh, those of you uh, watching who have not seen this, um, I believe it loads the um, uh, the maps from from text files. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so if we're going west here, you find yourself in a rectangular room. The room has three doors: north, south, and west. Okay. Wait, north, south, and west? How, though? Because I came in from the west. Surely it should be north, south, and east, right? Uh, there's a stench of writing. You turn around and see a skeleton and a man resting against the wall. You have a click from behind you. Ah, oh, that's why the east door is locked behind you. God damn it. Right, okay, let's, let's, let's go south. North, south, and west. Okay, let's go south again. Man, you know what I love? Mazes. Wait a minute. I reckon we're in the same. I reckon this is the same room. I don't think. I think this is a, a looping around puzzle. What do you mean you can't go that way? It just said. Sort of go wolf. East? Nope. Go south again, you find yourself in a rectangular room. Three doors north, south, and west. There's a stench of rotting. You turn around and see a skeleton of a man resting against the wall. Yeah? 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 I'm 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 on to you. I I I'm on to you. Um what if I go north? You realise you're stuck in a loop and there's no escape. You sit down opposite the other skeleton. You slowly starve to death. Excellent. Cool. So that's there's there's no point going that way. That way's instant death as well. I'm assuming as well if I um, uh, if I take that ledge for experienced climbers, I'm going to fall off and die. But obviously, I'm going to do it anyway. Fight me. Right, we're going. We're going north to start off with. I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna go and collect them coins anyway, just in case. Uh, there, I like the fact there is this clue. The west door. There's a sign that looks like a repeat symbol and a skull. So that's that's an indication you're gonna die if you go that way. Towards the east door, there's a hand-drawn symbol, snake holding an apple, snake. What's it holding the apple in? Like it's tail or something, I don't know. Um, right, let's go east. 
Give me them coins. Give me the coins. Coins, ba, 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 ba. coins, do, 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 coins, coins, coins. Uh, right, I can't go the other way, otherwise I'll instantly die. Um, so I go back there, and go back there, and I'm going to go north. Bum, 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 bum. You know, if there's something that's bothering me slightly, I'm just going to edit something here. Uh, did that fix it? No. Um, what if I... One more time. Eh. Almost, almost fixed it. I'm trying to get the text lined up. Um, ah, uh, whatever. Let's. I'll just increase. I'll, I'll, I'll keep on, keep on going. Um, let's put it up to 15 point font. There we go. Uh, right. Okay. Where are we at now? Do 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 do. Right. We're going north. You inspect the north wall. You notice a secret passage that leads to a cavern filled with water. To the north there is a boat that will cost you ten coins and will allow you to cross the water. Um, see if I can get this. Try and get the text lined up a little bit. Nah, bollocks to it. Let's just let's have it like that. Right, okay. Um, so, the best climbers, that was the one to the east. Right, let's go to the east. You decide you're a good enough climber and take the dangerous path. You make it halfway across before you slip and drown. Do, do, do. I knew it was going to be instant death, but I did it anyway. Hmm. Instant death. Instant death. Right, so I've got to go north. This game's going to be hell for speedrunners, man. Oh, cool. Uh, east, uh, east, west, west. Just trying, trying a few things out here. Cool. So while it's doing that printing out, it it it's still. It still buffers my commands, <laughs> so I'm sort of on autopilot at the moment. Right, so we, we, we should have the coins, yeah. Yeah, cool, we've got those coins. Right, let's go north, and got to go north again into the boat. Let's wait for it to finish telling us where we are. I assume if I don't have the coins, the old man just kills me or something, like in real life, you know, when you get on the bus and you can't afford it. What now? Right, okay, so uh, we've got to go north again. Yes, so, let's go. This is, this is the, the bit that we got to. So, um, That east was that's looking at the mirror is death. We're not gonna do that. Um, uh, so we've got to go west. Uh, 
All right, as you're walking along the corridor, you see an old lady. You stop and look at her. She asks for just five coins to feed herself. She asks you to put them in her hat, which is on the floor to the north. If you choose not to, you can continue south. Does that mean I have to go north to put the coins in the hat? You know, it's a glint. What, is that woman got a knife or something? You died four times. I mean, that was kind of cool, right? Pretty cool. Should we have a look at the code? Um... Uh, let's get rid of the thing. Do, 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 do. Right. Um, so, yeah, I know everyone's just sort of gone. Um, but I just thought it would be interesting to, to see what was going on here. Uh, one thing that uh, has been used here, there's a, um, a whole bunch of um, uh, things that have been pulled in. Um, Colorama is a... Um, uh, a module which um, allows you to do color in the uh, Windows system. Uh, there's also it's set up so that it will detect whether you've got Windows or uh, or Linux, um, which is which is kind of kind of cool. It's all heavily class based. Um, one thing that you'll notice when I go through all of this stuff is that um, now. I was under the impression I was under the impression that uh, it would read in the uh, the room layout from a file but it looks like there's some stuff which is hard coded in there like these coins and stuff like that maybe um, so I don't know I haven't I haven't looked through all of the uh, all of the different um, different stuff that's in there um, but dev tools there's even some dev tools in there. Where is default dot dat? Oh yeah, it's a it's a pickled file. So um, all of the stuff is in there. I wonder if if I run the dev tools. Um, how does that how does that work exactly? SCV name. Do not know. Do not know how that works. I would need to get some info from the um, from the creator. Um, but yeah, there you go. Anyway, we've been on we've been on far too long. Um, two hours thirteen minutes. Jesus wept. Uh, anyway, hope this has been enjoyable for all of you. I hope you've learnt some stuff. Um, and I hope you go and um, practice some stuff on Check.io and all of that, all of that other goodness. Thanks for watching, etc., etc.